I guess I'll do the morning early live, what I would usually do a review here at this point. But I figured, why the fuck not? Let me just tell you a little bit of the situation. So yesterday, I will start off with yesterday because, well, that's just where we're at. So I ordered some food, and there was, uh, I, I can't remember, I think it was Outback, right? So I ordered an Outback burger, absolutely delicious cheddar cheese, a little mustard, some hickory sauce. You, you know how they do it. Everything's got to be over the top, right? Even the bun. So it's all like five inches deep. It's not bad. It's whatever. That's not the point. The point is that at the very end of it, I had a cheesecake left over from yesterday. Now, there's a lot of times when I'll eat and I'll totally forget that I'm actually lactose intolerant. And then I'll ignore whatever it is. But I like the taste of milk. You know, I like the taste of cheesecake. I, I, don't, I don't think there's anybody out there that doesn't like the taste of cake, let alone cheesecake. But the cheesecake that I had, for whatever reason, wasn't like a typical cheesecake. It was very mashed potato consistency. So wet and not hot, obviously, but mushy. Hold on. I'm going somewhere with this. And usually, uh, when I got to poop, when I'm at work, I ignore it. I hold it down. I'm going to poop later at 6.45. It's no big deal. Well, 4.30 comes around, and I feel like I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> it was at that point that I realized that I got to make one or two decisions. I either got to not shit, or I'm going to shit my pants, or this kind of falls in the first one. Those two options falling together. Or, th or a second option said, I gotta, I gotta shit here. Now, let me tell you why I don't like to shit here before I get into the actual shit story itself. So the reason I don't like to shit here is because we got the toilet seats that are like penises. You know what I'm talking about. Like your house toilet is round, right? It's designed for an ass. This is designed for like an animal's ass. Think about a horse, right? A horse or a cow, they have a fat ass and then they got skinny legs. So if they were to sit... So if, they, if you were to take a cow that was on all four and sit it back, its legs would all be straight. That's the way this toilet seat is. It's not round. It's long. It's designed for like Gumby or, or somebody that doesn't have a, a human anatomy, okay? So anyway, I'm sitting on this thing. And every time I piss, it goes through the front part of the toilet bowl. Right, because I got a tiny dick, so automatically when you start when you sp start shooting, it, mine doesn't hang down and like dip into the toilet bowl. Like if you were fishing, mine doesn't do that. Mine just points straight. So if I pee, it's just gonna go like underneath. You understand what I'm saying? You you know you know what I'm talking. Yeah, like an oval. So it's not it's not straight. So my penis just kind of sits on the toilet lid and just points at the wall. So every time I got to pee, I pull my penis down, pop it in. You transgenders know what I'm talking about. Pop it in, right? And then I like pee while I'm holding it, which is really fucking weird. Uh, if, if you don't feel like a man right now, you will definitely not feel like a man once you do this. It really, really plays with your, your, your manhood. Anyway, long story short, who's had this before? where your asshole starts to burn. That's going to go into the story of what just happened right now. So, I have really bad stomach acid. I don't, I don't know why my body creates it, but it's very, very, very bad. Like, every time I poop, if I, if I hold it too long, it gets real acidic, and then it burns the shit out of my asshole. I got a hallelujah, so somebody knows what I'm talking about here. Okay. So it's almost like you're pouring. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's it's not it's not it's not hot like hot water, but it burns. Like like if you were to take hydrochloric acid and then put it on your skin, that's what it feels like on your asshole. And while I'm pooping yesterday, I could not wait for the shit to exit my asshole. Like as I'm pooping, I'm like, God, dog. And it, I wasn't constipated. It was just taking way too long. Like, like your girlfriend that's trying to do her eye makeup and you're waiting in the fucking car and you're running out of things to do. So you start playing with the fucking air vents. Then it gets 110 degrees and you wonder why air conditioning's not working. Just like that. I'm over here picking a fucking wall and like playing with the wood on the shelf, reading the toothpaste. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm picking up old dripper boxes. 
wow, this really had a 3.6 millimeter post? Like, I, it, 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 I, way, I know way too much about drippers that I reviewed two years ago now than I did then. So I'm reading all this random fucking shit and my ass is on fire. And, I, and then I remind myself, this is why I don't shit at work. Because if I was at home, what I would do, this is going to sound fucking crazy, but you guys know me. I don't bullshit. I've showed you the nail. I don't play around. What I would do if I was home is I would stand up real quick, what like dab my asshole with some toilet paper and turn on the hot water and then splash my ass like a pigeon in a, in a bird bath, right? Let, why do I do that? I'm going to tell you why. Because water is a neutralizer of acid. And when you spray that on your asshole, it automatically gets super fresh. And if the water is hot, it doesn't feel as bad because your asshole's already hot. So it's like you just jumped out of a cold pool and just took a cold shower. You're not going to know. You, I mean, you might that brisk walk to the shower. But then when you get back in the cold shower, it's like, okay, this is not bad. So anyway, when I just ripped ass right there, I, just, I was just reminded about what happened on the toilet bowl yesterday. Just hot asshole. Just now, every time I fart, I don't know if poop is coming out with it or my asshole's that raw from all the acid yesterday. And this is where I'm at. This is why I got asshole issues. Okay, so let me tell you, let me tell you the next situation. I'm going on this really awkward credit rampage. So this is that, now don't judge me and don't tell me I'm doing it wrong, because I know what the fuck I'm doing. So I've had these little credit cards. We've talked about this before. We've had these credit cards where everybody's had them at some point in their life where you, you don't really have good credit, right? So you're just, you're, you're, you'll take anything that's going to be given to you. And by the way, take a look at that song about with the general again, drop that. Let's take a look at that. Would you just take a look at that? Would you just look at that? Okay, so anyway, um... We, we've all had that. Now, if you've been blessed with great credit, then I don't know, you're special because, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now you saw my face change when I was farting. I feel like there's like an open hemorrhoid. And every time I fart, it just blows the scab right off of it. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move forward. So anyway, um, we've all had bad credit before, right? We all have. So what I what I do is, or, or what I did was, for a while there, I would actually, um, I would actually get these credit cards. We put uh, everybody seen this. We put like the two hundred fifty dollars down, where it's where it's essentially an unse well secured secured credit card, where you, you're giving the money for them to give you a piece of plastic that's worth the money that you give them. And then eventually you may get that money back. Uh, some companies may never give it back to you. Whatever. And they're very reluctant to uh, get, they're, they're very reluctant to raise the limit. You could be with them for 12 years and have an outstanding credit limit. And when you call them to increase the credit, they'll give you one of these numbers. Well, sir, the reason why we make these credit cards are for people that have bad credit. And once you have no longer bad credit, there's not really much of a point for you to have us, but we encourage you to stay and enjoy our lovely benefits of one cent per every 500 gallons of gas. Okay. Um, I don't know what job you would need 500 gallons of gas for for one cent, uh, number one. Number two, your benefits suck balls. Number three, close my account, and, and then we're done. Here's the thing. When you close the account, they always use this number on you. I'm just telling you guys, I'm giving you credit advice now. This is real. I know it may seem comedic, but I'm not joking. They're going to tell you, you don't want to close this account because you've had this account for 11 years. Yeah, but I, if I close this account, I don't have to worry about the monthly fee of $80, which is two-thirds of my shit anyway, after taxes, that I don't want to keep paying the credit card. So anyway, I cancel all these credit cards, right? Now I'm starting to get cocky because I do have credit cards that have a very high limit. So I cancel all these credit cards. There was four of them, four or five of them. <laughs> cancel all the credit cards. And now I start going to, because I did a trip down to Florida. What did I buy a lot of, right? Whenever, whenever you do a trip in a car, what do you buy a lot of? I'll let, I'll let everybody chime in here. 
you buy gas. That's right. That's right. You buy lots of gas. So what I say is I'm going to use and find all Shell gas stations. Let me tell you why. <laughs> I, got, I think I got a piece of cotton on the back of my tongue here. You have to deal with me for a second. Hold on. I got to figure this out. Okay, I don't want to be gross. I think I got it. Okay, so what do I buy? Buy a lot of gas, right? Now I've I've had a Shell credit card. It's got about a forty five hundred dollar limit, forty one hundred dollar limit on it. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use this. I don't know what the benefits are, but it's from Shell, so they got to give me something for using Shell gas stations. Drive all the way down, drive all the way back. Spent like six hundred dollars in gas come back home, I open up the app, I go to look, transaction history, look at rewards, nice, $38, $37, $44, you saved yourself $3.18, nice, you saved yourself $2.25, sweet, so I'm going through it, and then I realize the fucking date is May of 2019, I'm like, wait a minute, this is fucked up, May of 2019, so I look at the card that I have, and the last four digits, we're not going to go that route. The last two digits are 9-9. Nine, nine. The card that's on file on the Shell app is a 1-9. One, 1-9 nine. One, nine was stolen last year, so 9-9, nine, nine, I think it is, not, yeah, 9-9 nine, nine is not registered on the app. So all the fucking gas that I bought all the way down, going out of my way, looking for shells, didn't even fucking count. It didn't even count because when I got that card in my mind, I said, they're going to change that on the shell app because I got it from shell. So that's not going to be a problem, but I fucked up. So I call up shell. I'm like, yo, I went all the way down to Florida and all the way back. I bought only shell gas. You're going to tell me right now, looking at my card that I used that you can't give me the points for it. Yes. Tell me why. Can, can you tell me why? This is me on the phone last night. Can you tell me why you can't give me points for that? Because it wasn't through the app. Listen to me, bitch. Listen to me. Every time I've ever used the Shell card, I've never used it through the app. I live in New Jersey where I have to pump my own, where, where, where they pump my gas. So I don't put a pin code or nothing in. They take the card, they turn on the gas, they give me the nozzle. So. I've never used the app to do like pay at the pump shit. It doesn't matter, sir. It doesn't matter. We can't do it. You see the transactions. Give me the fucking points. This is what the lady says to me. Sir, it's like $19. It's not that big of a deal. How much you want to bet? This is what I said. I said, how much you want to bet? If I had a $19 bill with your credit card and I didn't pay that for six months, would you tell me that that's not that big of a deal? No, you'd be calling up collection agencies. Fuck yeah, it's a big deal. I want my $19. <laughs> She's like, well, you're not going to get it. Who the fuck are you talking to? Give me your supervisor. We're, we're on very limited staff because of the coronavirus. Bitch, I hope you get coronavirus. Give me somebody else that is in charge of what you do. There's got to be somebody. That's not going to happen today. Will it happen tomorrow? Give me somebody. She hung up on me. I call it back. I get rerouted to somebody else that's like in Oklahoma now. So I guess they got like a call dispatch where they just randomly pick random fucking people that are all Indian, number one, and they're all working from home, number two, and they're all, none of them know like how to fucking do anything, number three. This is my life. So what do I do? Ready? Here it comes. So I start going on all these gas station websites. <laughs> so last night, I'm like, all right, what was on the way down to Florida? So we had BP, check. We had Marathon, check. We had um, Shell, uncheck. So I'm just, I'm just remembering going down 95 and all the gas stations that I saw. Even Georgia Peaches gas station. Any gas station I saw, what do I do? I go to all the websites and I apply for their gas station card. 
Now, it may seem a little bit ludicrous as to why I would do it, but here's my reasoning. If Shell's not going to give me the money that I earned with my card, then these other gas stations, as a conglomerate or conglomerate, will. I know it seems more logical to just get one and just focus on that one gas station, but why limit yourself to just one? Why not get 45 different gas station cards? Now, I was on Ambien when I did this. I didn't know that I applied for a Macy's card. I didn't even know that Macy's had a gas station. I got a Walmart card. All credit cards. I got, so my credit inquiries are fucked right now. I got about 116, right? So I got Walmart, Wawa. Did you know that Wawa had a credit card? I didn't. But I did this morning when I was reading my emails while I was taking my acidic shit, right? So I got Macy's, JC Penney's. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. Like I don't, I don't. The good thing is, is once I get the card, I can say, listen, I fucked up. Close the account. If it's in 30 days, it'll take off the inquiry. So just absolutely terrible. Now I I think I got like 35 emails. No joke. 35 emails. Thank you for becoming a member at Macy's. Here's your temporary credit card information to ship you out a new one. What am I going to do with the $5,000 limit for Macy's? Like, what am I going to do with that? What am I going to buy? Blankets for the next year? I, 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 like, I don't know what to do. Like, and then Wawa? I haven't been to a Wawa since I was 16. I got an Exxon. Did you know that Exxon and Mobile is the same company? I didn't know that. I, I, I applied for a mobile. Okay, so I applied for an Exxon. Reward plus Moby is what it's called. My mind, I said Moby means mobile. Got it. It's not the case. Moby means mobile, like mobile the gas station. That's what gets fucked up. So I get an Exxon gas station card, right? Which I thought would be a credit card, but it's not. It's like a, it's like a, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like a, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Whatever. It's not the point. And then I go to a mobile gas station to apply for that. But they said, you already applied for a card. No, I didn't. I, and I've got all the tabs open, 45 across the board on the top. I don't see no mobile, but apparently the two of those are together. And you can get an, I think it's called the X Mobi. X Mobi. It's an Exxon and mobile guest. I don't even know what they do. Like, I feel like it's just a reward card, but that's all right. Because if it's a reward card, I'll throw it away. But that's how you start getting those spam emails. It's because you applied for a fucking reward card. It's like going to shop right if you're from Northeast or Piggly Wiggly if you're from down south, or Publix if you're from anywhere else in the world, and you get those little fucking things that they get you on that you put on a keychain, the little scanners that everybody thinks you're saving all this money. You're not. That was the regular price of it anyway. They just jack it up for people that make it make them feel like they're winning something when you scan that stupid fucking keychain card. And oh my God, is it obnoxious? Like you, with t today's technology, you don't have a way to scan something where I could just like, Send a text, and I get that coupon. Why do I got to carry around? A, who even has fucking keys anymore? You you got a little proximity key. Like, I don't have my witness on my car right now, but you don't even have fucking keys unless you're a janitor. And even then, you're not going to want plastic shit on your metallic-ass keychain. <sighs> I'm getting so worked up. Uh, I just... Yeah, Kenneth, thank you for the information now. Thank you. Um, yeah, I found that last night. It was a little bit, a little too late, though. A little too late. You know, 35 fucking store credit cards later. I don't even know how I ended up on Macy's website. Like, how do you get there looking for gas? Doesn't make any fucking sense. I mean, maybe they do somewhere. I don't know. Bree, can you Google Macy Gas? Just, just Google it and just titillize me. Is that it? Is that it? Titillize? Titillate. 
maybe that's what I thought. I was like, well, if I can't buy gasoline, I buy a grill because that's close enough to gas. So, yeah. Card hard gas. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's I, maybe that's why I saw gas. Anything that had a keyword of gas, I got a credit card for that company. Now I'm going to start getting all these weird barbecue emails. We saw you bought 18 gas grills. Here's some coupons for chicken. Now, now I'm in a conundrum because now I just got to buy Publix. Like now I got to get different credit cards to different grocery stores. Did you know I have never a day in my life. If there was a way for me to show you this, I would. I have never a day in my life ever shopped at Target. I applied for a red card, and I got it. I have never shopped at Target. So as soon as I bought it, you know, it said 5% off. What did I do? I bought Axe Body Wash and immediately regretted it when I saw the price. I said, shit, can I refund this? And apparently their credit cards only work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Like, you can't return anything which is ridiculous and then i didn't know that there was a difference like i'm reading the email this morning and i didn't know that there was a difference between the target red card and then the target red card mastercard apparently once you're a red card member long enough they offer you mastercard it's not the other way around so i don't even i don't even know what i'm gonna do 